Meteorologist Ted Faton here. We're going to wish for beach like weather yeah. as you step outside this morning. I know, absolutely. And typically you get the breeze when you're mm -hmm. along the ocean. Well, you're not going to need, you're not going to smell the ocean breeze, but you're going to feel the breeze as you get out. We're holding on to those 20s for Jefferson, 26 degrees for Boone. We're in the low 40s towards the Queen City, 48 degrees now towards Shaw. Now, those temperatures are going to start catching up. I think we're going to hold on to the 40s for the most part of the day. And then these 20s are going to turn into the 30s later on. That sun comes up at about 719 this morning. 10 mile per hour winds being felt right now for Gastonia, Charlotte through Monroe. Waves grow at about 8 miles per hour. Now the winds coming out of the north is the high pressure that's kind of creeping in behind that cold front, giving more of those clearing skies and also those cooler temperatures. You notice that cloud cover thinning out throughout the morning. It's going to make way for some sunshine. A mix of sun and clouds for your forecast. We are holding on to those dry conditions as the uh, light showers now over Charleston push out to the east. East, the Outer Banks getting more in the way of cloud cover. We only got a trace of rain yesterday, so definitely not enough to turn around the drought conditions that are still being felt over the Queen City, still holding on to the severe drought. Taking a closer look and putting the clock into motion Tuesday afternoon, I think we're going to have a mix of sun and clouds. It's going to stay dry. It's going to be on the breezy side and definitely a lot cooler than where we were this time yesterday. Notice as I put the clock into motion now, getting into the overnight hours right around 2 a.m., is when those scattered showers start to creep in. Now, south of I-85 is where I think most of that rain is going to set up. You notice this line defined by the corridor is where the rain comes to the south, some heavy pockets of downpours to the north, mostly dry, maybe a few uh, snow flurries along the Tennessee border for the highest elevations. But by Wednesday afternoon, we're already clearing things out, making way for some sunshine and clearing conditions Wednesday night into your Thursday. Overall, in terms of your rain chances, I think we're going to be anywhere from a quarter of an inch to half of an inch and that's mainly going to be from Charlotte and south anywhere north is likely to stay dry and your rain chances on Wednesday is just to start. I think isolated thunderstorms can develop on Friday. And we're going to watch on Saturday as some uh, some showers can come ahead of a cold front. That's really going to bring the rain late Saturday into your Sunday. Temperature wise, we're going to stay cool in the low 50s for today and tomorrow, gradually getting into the low 60s by Friday. Those are uh, afternoon storms possible and then we're going to get into the low 70s on Saturday, but the cold front Saturday night into Sunday. Sunday bumps us back down into the 50s with wet weather to finish off the weekend and dry to start next week. Jason.